Hi, this is Peter Garrity from bloggingmechanics.com and in this video I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to show you how to use FileZilla FTP program to upload your ebooks or report on, on your hosting and how to get a link and then I'm going to show you a, a simple security feature that will help you to protect your files. So now first, uh, first thing we are going to Google and now we type in FileZilla you need to download this program so let's select FileZilla download let's click here and as you see here is the file so you download extract and and then you uh, follow all the steps uh, as uh, as it is uh, once you are finished with that uh, this is how it will look when you will open for the first time and now here you need to enter your host uh, host name usually it is ftp ftp dot your domain name dot com or whatever extension you have then you this is username uh, for that you use your hosting username then for password you use your your hosting password and that's it for port I uh, usually you do not need uh, anything but uh, if, if, if it's required then you need to consult with your hosting provider now I'm already uh, uh, I'm already logged in here so I will refresh the, the login and now uh, I'm I'm inside this uh, uh, this um, FTP program. So on one side you have here uh, your computer. This is the files on your computer, and this is the files on your uh, on on your hosting. So what you want to do is you want to uh, find this public HTML. Then you want to go inside there, and now you need to create a folder where you want to save uh, this file. So for example, let's right click and let's create directory with the name free stuff or free reports free or or just simply free let's let's uh, let's have it free so this is this is our folder where we will upload the document so let's click on that it's open the directory itself and now here we have two options either we can uh, drag and drop it here or we can right click and then just click upload so let's do that and now as you see the progress bar it's it's now uploaded so now the next step what you want to do is you want to uh, right click here and you want to copy URL to clipboard so you click there then you open a notepad and then you paste it here here you just need to remove these elements and replace with the normal URL and also you need to remove this public HTML so you remove that and now this is your file uh, URL so you copy that and if we go back to Google uh, to browser and if we click enter it will open this document so now let's see yes as you see it's opened this document everything is fine okay now let me show you a simple thing that you can do in order to protect this file and basically this folder so what you need to do you need to go to your um, your folder on your computer then you can right cl right click uh, right click somewhere and you need to create a text new text document like this and then you give a name to this text document index.php and now you go back to your um, your FTP program you refresh it and now you see this index.php.txt what we need to do we need to remove this txt from here so that it's pure php uh, index.php file and now what you want to do you want to upload this uh, to your uh, hosting and what will happen if people will uh, download this file they will see that they this file is located on uh, on the folder free and if we, if they will go to this folder uh, let's test it let's take this URL and let's test it some sometimes it's built-in feature that will go somewhere but as you see now this folder is not accessible as you see there's em em empty files but if the index file wasn't there then we could we could see all these files listed here and if you have in that folder several files they all would be exposed so that's it for this video if you enjoyed this video click the link below visit bloggingmechanics.com I have a lot of free information for you there that will help you with your search engine efforts with your marketing so I see you there thank you